I'm Hayley. And I'm William. And for our I Choose Maths project we're, we're doing... Dimensions of our world. world! Hope you enjoy! Why I have so much homework, it's killing me! I'll write in 200 words what dimensions are. I don't know what dimensions are. Ugh. I'm late. And I don't really know what dimensions are. Oh, well, I'll, I'll be able to teach that to you. Come right in. Come join the party! So do any of you know anything about dimensions? No. no! Well, to simplify, think of dimensions as directions. So, what do you think one direction or one dimension means? Oh, is it a band? But they broke up like my husband. Annie, we don't want to hear you about your personal life. Okay, so it's a one, it's a shape that goes in one direction. So what's the only shape that goes in one direction? Uh, everybody know? It happens to be a line. That's wow. Yes, yeah, astonishing. Mind blowing. So exciting! Now, 2D, there's a lot more 2D shapes than 1D shapes. 2D is two dimensions. So all these shapes, like you draw on a piece of paper, need to go up and down and left and right. So do any of these know 2D shapes? Yeah? Square. Yes, square. This is good square, isn't it? Also happens to be called a rectangle, not a square. But it goes two directions. Anybody else? Oh! Yes, me. yes, Granny? I just wanted to be part of the conversation. Seriously. Who am I teaching to? A monkey. Yep. Yeah. Um, so let's move on to 3D very quickly. 3D is a lot more complex. So this is three dimensions. Three directions, if you like. I can't draw the, that up, but I will grab a three-directional shape or three-dimensional shape. A book. This is a rectangular prism. And it goes up and down, left and right, and it has depth. And depth is the one that makes it 3D. And, um, well, pretty much everything you see is 3D. Wait. So, if, uh, if that's 3D... Does that mean I'm 3D? Yeah. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Thank you. Finally done my homework. Thank you for watching our iTunes Maths project. And good luck to all the other contestants. Bye! Bye.